Hello guys, let me show you how to use the pre-calculus made easy app that runs on handheld Inspire models only. It does not run on computer Inspires or Inspire software that runs on computers. Okay, only on handhelds. The app is downloadable at tiinspireapps.com and contains anything that your pre-calculus teacher may ever throw at you. So let it be algebra, functions, polynomials, points and lines, quadratic complex numbers, exponents, logarithms, sequences and series, matrices, trigonometry, circles, conics, or even an introduction to calculus. We have you all covered. And conversions. So let me show you some specifics that this app can do. Say you want to solve a 2x2 two two system step by step. Just enter the system in terms of x and y and follow the steps until you arrive at the final answer. x is 1 and y is 1. Right? Well, makes sense. 2 and 5 is 7. 3 and 1 makes 4. You change your input. You immediately get the correct answer. If you use decimal input, you get decimal answers. So you can switch between the desired format very easily. No need to press enter ever. Functions. Okay, you can, let's say, find the domain of x squared. Well, that is um, any x value between negative infinity and positive infinity. How about finding the range of x squared? Well, that's anything between 0 and infinity. So y, the range, is from 0 to infinity. What about if you do 1 over x squared? Well, it's still from 0 to infinity. What about the domain? Go back to functions, go to domain. 1 over x squared. Well, the domain is now anything but 0, which is perfectly correct. Polynomials can be studied. You can even do polynomial division, synthetic division. You can enter points and I mean, I'm sorry, you can uh, find slope, midpoint, distance given two points. Enter the coordinates for point P and Q. And you will get the midpoint, the distance, and the slope. Everything step by step. Again, if you want to have decimal answers, enter a decimal format. And you will have decimal solutions. Um, you can complete the square to find zeros, to find vertex. You can analyze complex numbers and do arithmetic of, com of two complex numbers. So you got to enter them. Say so you enter those two complex numbers. Then the sum of those two is going to be this. Their difference is this. Their product turns out to be this. Uh, number complex number negative 2 plus 9i remember that i squared is negative 1 that's involved and if you divide this complex number by this one you actually have to multiply by the complex conjugate on top and bottom as shown here to you and when you do it out you will arrive at this complex number. Sequences in series. Say you want to do sigma notation. No problem. Enter your function n squared. Enter low and upper bound. And you arrive at your final answer. Matrices. Study matrices. Say you are given two 2x2 two two matrices. Just enter them and you will immediately find their sum, their difference. You can also multiply them. 
you can find the inverse you can find determinant Kramer rule comes in very handy here enter the 2 by 2 matrix A and the vector B and you arrive here at the solution 1 comma 1 using the Kramer rule trigonometry solve triangles 90 degree or not 90 degrees deal with specific cases SSS SAS let's look at an SAS case say the two sides you're given a 3 3 and you're given an angle of 60 just enter it and you can see that the law of cosine is used to find the third side which is also 3 because it turns out that this is actually going to be an equilateral triangle of uh, all sides 3 and all angles are of course 60 degrees so you are covered in trigonometry also we have a, a trig identity checker so do you want to see if this is actually a valid identity enter it and it shows you it is a trick identity if the 2 was not a 2 but a 3 then it's not an identity anymore okay so this way you can check if a uh, if an equation is an identity or not conics might also be covered in your precalculus course enter a quadratic equation and the step-by-step -step analysis is done for you in this case since the discriminant turns out to be a positive number five here this equation quadratic equation is actually a hyperbola okay so then the whole analysis for a hyperbola is being performed here for you with the major axis, the minor axis, the focus 1, focus 2, eccentricity, vertices and asymptotes are all fine for you, found for you. If you change this equation slightly, say you do it this way, all of a sudden you have a circle because your discriminant turns out to be negative. All of this again is done step by step for you. Lastly, in precalculus you will be introduced to calculus so you will learn about the average rate of change you will learn how to find the instantaneous rate of change derivatives tangent lines say you enter a function such as x squared and you want to find the tangent line x equals 3 right here it is for you because you had to find the slope of the function at the point 3 which is 6 and you had to find the coordinates at x equals 3 which is 9 and all this combined will allow you to find the tangent line in this format or when solved for y in this format so you can see precalculus made easy has you all covered covers all areas of Precalculus step by step. This app and many more apps available at tiinspireapps.com. Thanks for watching.